How's it going guys, SaxHD here, bringing an HL15 video, and this video guys we're looking at how to make coins in HL15 Hockey Little Team. So this method guys is the 59th minute method, it's a very good method, probably the best method so far in HL15. To do this guys, you want to go to the search, search NHL players that are the gold type, and set your buy now maximum to however many coins you have. So let's say you have 50k, you want to set it to 50k. The reason guys, you never want to miss out on like, on a big steal by a couple hundred coins, you always want to just... Max out that buy now range, whatever you have, obviously you don't want to go over as you're just adding extra players to go through. So basically guys, once you do that, you're going to scroll through all the pages until you reach the 59th minute. Right now guys, you can see we're going through like the 30 seconds to the minute range. So it's going to take you a while, probably anywhere between 15, 15 and 30 minutes, depending on how big that price range is. Obviously if it's like buy now 2k, a lot less players than say buy now 20k. And once you're here guys, you guys can see, you can get some steals. I bought that Kunitz there for 2500. He sells from anywhere between 3 and 4k. Mason Raymond there for 1900. He's selling from anywhere to 4 to 5k. So you get some steals once you're at the 59th minute, guys. Right here, for instance, you get a Hansen 550. This is another thing, guys. If you find a rare gold player for 600 or less, you buy him, no matter what. Worst case scenario, you quick sell him. You make 50 pucks to, or sorry, 50 coins to 100 coins. So always buy them. The Lars are even for 650. I'm definitely making my coins back. Andre Pavelic there, guys. Just another player. I didn't really know his price, but I figured I'd pay more than that for Pavelic. So you kind of want to go with your gut instinct. If you see, say, like a Crosby for 50k, you're like, Crosby's definitely worth more than 50k. Same same thing here, guys. Reimer, I didn't know if he was going for 1500. I figured he'd probably go for more closer to 2500. He's a Toronto Maple Leaf. He's got more popularity. He'll probably sell for more. So you want to kind of just use some common sense. Think about what you'd pay. For instance, the Hansel here, 800. I figure I can get at least 1500 for Hansel. 86 overall, 66 center. You know, he's going to pan, pan out. Same with the Dubinsky there. Uh, one thing, guys, you want to do uh, in order to kind of maximize your profit, you want to go to the 59th minute late at night. That's where you're going to find more steals, be able to make more pucks. Right here, guys, you can see I'm picking up a Jimmy Howard for 15k. I actually didn't know his uh, price. I had him on the watch list. 10 minutes later, he was still available. His average price, guys, is 25 to 30k, so I got really lucky there. Same with Luongo. 10 minutes later, didn't know his price. Picked him up for 15k. Only one other available for 30k. So sometimes, if you don't know their price and you want to play it safe, you can add them to the watch list. Go check out the other players' prices. Sometimes you know you'll you know you'll get robbed and someone else will pick him up, but sometimes he's still available, you get a steal. Right here, guys, was a steam that was available for 7k by now. Someone bought him, so I figured he's probably worth more than that. As you can see, I end up going looking at the steens. He's worth anywhere from 10 to 15k. One was available for 7k. What you can do for that, guys, is a lot of times when you buy a player for say a steal of a price, someone will look at the last price sold, they'll put him up for that. So you can buy a Crosby for 50k, someone might put him up for 50k. You can snag that one too. You get two Crosby's now, you can sell them both. And, uh, you know, it's a really good way to make pucks. So if you ever get a huge deal, hang around that 59th minute, wait to see if someone else posts something uh, for that same price. Right there, guys, you can mind have seen, I sold that Raymond for 4500 a lot of profit there. Uh, the Steen here, guys, 15k, we bought him for 7, more than double their coins. Same with Luongo, guys, 15k, 30k now, double their coins again. Uh, Jimmy Howard here, uh, we bought him for 15k as well. As you can see, didn't get the 30, but did get the 25, that's 10k profit. I'm not complaining, I really can't complain. The Edler, I don't think I showed you uh, me buying him. I bought him for like 950. The Spurgeon, I bought for like 500, so I'm not mad at all. Uh, the Richards, again, I think I bought him and Hartnell both for under 1,000. The Lindholm, I bought for like five or 600, so really good profit on that. And then right here, guys, they look at what we still have left in the trade pile. I think we have around 15K value left in this trade pile. Uh, we started off, I think, guys, with around 70,000 coins. So uh, right here, you guys can see we have 107,000 coins. You add the 15K onto that, that's 122,000 coins. And then subtract what we started with, 71,000. That leaves us with around 50,000 uh, coin profit, guys. And like I said, uh, this method, it's sure thing. It's going to work every time. I probably spent 15 minutes to get to the 59th minute, another 15 minutes around the 59th minute. So 30 minutes. Late at night, like I said, I made 50k coins. You do this every night, guys. I mean, you're making 350k a week. I don't know. There's really nothing better I can say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this helped you out, guys, make sure to leave a like. If you want more uh, coin-making tutorials, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.